we have to have a conversation about the US government creating the digital dollar. Do you remember when everyone was convinced that we were gonna get rid of the paper money and replace it with a digital dollar? Do you remember that absolute chaos? Well, how's that conspiracy treating you now, almost a year later? Last time I checked, we were all still using paper money in this country. But I digress. Back on track, Lisa. The reason why I'm bringing this up now is because the Federal Reserve Chairman just talked about where the United States stands in the process of possibly creating a digital dollar. Turns out, we aren't in the process. It's wrong to say that we're working on a CBDC and that we've got secretly got a lab here where we've got one and we're just going to spring it on Congress at the right moment. We don't. Not, I, I haven't at, at all in my own mind uh, made a decision that I think this is something the U.S. should be doing. The technical term that's used when we talk about a digital dollar is a CBDC, a central bank digital currency. And the Fed chairman says it's not as simple as the Federal Reserve waking up one day and waving a magic wand and saying, poof, we now have digital money in this country. That's just not how it works. We haven't proposed, we haven't come to a conclusion that we should propose or anything like that, a, th that Congress consider legislation to authorize a digital dollar. And it would take legislation by Congress signed by the president to, to give us the ability to do the, what we think of as a CBDC, which is really a retail CBDC with, with the public. of it. So, so we're just a long, long way from that. Now, that's not to say the Fed isn't researching it and keeping up with the times and keeping up with the rest of the world. They absolutely are. Everyone, every country is looking into this idea of digital currency right now. And the last thing the United States wants to do is be last to the party. We're trying to stay in the frontiers of what's going on in digital finance. And it has many, many different uh, areas. You know, it has applications in wholesale finance, in, in the payment system. And so we need, we, to serve the public, we need, we're, these, these issues have become very front burner in the last five or six years. We need to be knowledgeable about all that. So we, we actually do have people trying to understand